same, honey. Is there a reason why you're pacing back and forth in the hallway? Uh, no. No, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's been a month since I graduated, and I've been good all year. And let's not forget, I'll be turning 17 in a month. Sam, is this going anywhere? I'm trying to write this book for my presentation Friday. I think I deserve that car now. <sighs> Sweetie, we've been over this already. You barely passed this year, and I don't think you deserve a car just yet. You have to prove to me that you can handle that kind of responsibility. Do you think you can do that? Are you gonna keep throwing that in my face? I know how much work it would be to have a car, but it's not always about the work. I can go places with my friends. I can get to school faster. I can get the groceries for the house more easier. Come on, Mom, give me a break. If you paid more attention to me than your stupid books, Sam. maybe you would understand me more. Sam! Good night, Mother. Why did you leave me, Dad? You were always on my side. You understood me more. I'm sorry, honey. And you're right. I should be paying a lot more attention to you. But my work is what keeps up a home, and it's not easy. I have decided. We can get you a car. Really? Thank you, thank you, thank you! Elizabeth, Elizabeth, sweet, it's time to come out and play, honey. Please stop hiding from me. You know I don't like that. Oh. My. God. Mom, this is it. This is the car of my dreams. Uh, hold on, sweetie. That's my cell. Might be a business call. I'll just be over, okay? <laughs>